Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Today we're going to be talking about different Gurmukhi font types and how um, these can be relevant to you, how you can copy and paste, convert things, all this kind of stuff. So, the first thing that I would like to get into is what are Gurbani font types and what am I actually talking about? So here I have a Gurbani presentation with some Barnia and let's say I try to copy the Gurmukhi over into my browser or into Google. Now, as you can see, instead of getting the actual um, Gurmukhi, I get this um, weird transliterated version into the Roman script, which doesn't make any sense. So this was something that really, that I had a problem with. And the first time I actually downloaded this PDF, I actually wasn't able to see any good monkey. I could only see uh, transliterated words. So for example, if I can just demonstrate, I was only able to see words that looked like this and it didn't make any sense. So I was like, where's the good monkey? Where's the good pirate? So essentially, we need to know a little bit about technology to understand why this is the case. And so in the older times, um, there was something called ASCII. Now there's something new called Unicode. So essentially, um, different languages have different scripts. How there's a Chinese script, there's an Arabic script, there's an English script, or there's a Roman Latin script. So because computers um, were old and they couldn't handle all these scripts, the old system was uh, known as ASCII. And so you would need to download a font in order to render the script that you wanted to display. So here I have downloaded a font called Gurbani Akrahevi, which basically I can type in any English words and it gets magically converted into Gurmukhi. That's how it works. So in order to display the Gurmukhi in the past, you needed to use um, a font. However, this can have many problems. Let's say you want to send an email and you can't like download the font on that. It can cause a lot of problems. So now there's a new system called Unicode. So I'll just go on the website. Yikes. So basically it's a new system where um, this is, this depends on the operating system that you're using. So I'm using Windows. If you're in this, um, nowadays every single modern operating system that's like, um, you know, Windows XP and above, Linux, Mac OS, they all support Unicode. However, in the past, this was not the case. So now you can see the um, Uda over here. So that's the Unicode character. So now what I can do is now I have this Gurbani PDF of the city. Now I can copy from here. It's the same Barney. Instead of getting that, I actually get the Gurmukhi. So let's say now there are a lot of things that we can do with this and there's a lot of um, problems that can arise because a lot of our old PDFs, like this PDF, it's a huge, very resourceful PDF. If I try to copy the Gurbani in from here, all I'm going to get is transliterated stuff. So how can I access this with, um, how can I access the original Gurbani without having to manually type it out? So there's a lot of things we can do. So I'm going to show you one uh, really simple one that I do, which is just, I, I can, you can screenshot on whatever operating system you have. Since I have Windows, I'm going to use Snipping Tool. Then I'm just going to go over to Edit and Copy. And now you can go to Google.com and I'm going to click Search by Image. And I'm just going to Control V and then it's going to pop this up. And I can go to Text and now I can select all of this. You can see the text here. I can copy the text. Now it is in a uh, Unicode Gurmukhi. So now it's all good. And if you're curious, this technology is called an OCR. So an OCR is essentially a kind of opt optical character recognition. Uh, this one, I believe, uses AI. The Google OCR uses AI to recognize different characters and figure out it can scan an image and then you can select from it. This is how it works. And another thing that you can do is now there are multiple Punjabi font converters, Gurmukhi font converters. So here's one. There's another one. I'm going to like link all of these in the description. 
This is the one that I use just because it's super simple. So you just paste it in here. Here it is. Oh, never mind, never mind. This is the original Glimble key. So let me paste in this. And now it's here with some errors, but it's still all mostly here. And you can see now it's actually readable. You can see that it's not just broad sets. See little bits that you get there. Yes. Yeah. It has words. So you can also use this and it's going to convert everything. So essentially this font type is you is called Unmol Unmol Lippy. And so Unmol Lippy is this typed out version and then you can convert it to Unicode. However, this is where things start to kind of get confusing because there are some encoded PDFs which do not use Unmol Lippy. Some of them only some of them they use different styles. So this is where things really start getting confusing. And so this is the problem with some Gunmo key PDFs. And so what you're going to have to do is do the original method where you just screenshot and then you um, scan it that way manually. So this is basically a brief introduction to Gunmo key fonts as well as OCRs. Hope it was helpful. Haven't found a really good video on this in the past. I'm going to include all of these links um, in the path uh, in the description. So thank you. Everybody.